let's just spend a minute on Hunter Biden. Um, Hunter Biden saunters in there, Mike, like truly the crown prince. Like I, I will just decide what I show up to on Capitol Hill. And um, it won't be the one that I'm subpoenaed for. It will just be this aftermath where you're deciding whether I should be held in contempt. And then I will take no questions. I will walk with swagger in and out. And honestly, like Nancy Mace is kind of onto something with the privilege situation. It's just, I've got to imagine there's some cringing going on over at the White House on what, in, forgive me, but arrogant prick he looks like in doing this. Yeah, I mean, I ran like 70 congressional hearings and markups when I was on the Senate Judiciary Committee as the chief counsel for nominations for then Chairman Chuck Grassley. I've never seen anything like this. This is uh, clearly obstruction of a congressional proceeding, which is a felony. This is clearly conspiracy to obstruct a congressional <laughs> proceeding, which is a felony. And this is also contempt of Congress. Remember that Trump advisors, Steve Bannon and Peter Navarro have been tried by the Biden Justice Department and convicted and are awaiting going to prison for defying a congressional subpoena being held in contempt. I don't know how you describe what Hunter did as anything other than uh, contempt and obstruction and conspiracy. What do you make of it, Dave? You're laughing because those charges that Mike just referenced are, of course, the ones that Trump has been charged with um, at, at the federal level. But uh, let's speak to that, speak to whether he did violate any laws and all this, but also just the, I mean, come on, this is not a good look. Well, it's good to be with you, Megan, and my friend, Mike. Now, the reason why I was laughing is because like, I, I can understand the argument for contempt, but when you say obstruction, all that other stuff, you have a right to attend a hearing. And if they wanted to hear from him, he would have testified. But to get to the contempt point, I, as a prosecutor, when you receive a subpoena, you don't get to choose the terms of your appearance. So as a prosecutor, yes, he could be held in contempt, but he's not going to be because it's up to DOJ. And DOJ did not press charges against Mark Meadows for refusing to comply with the subpoena, Dan Scavino and Jim Jordan. So they're not going to do it here, especially when the guy is ready to testify, but he wants to testify in his own terms in public. So I get why people are upset about it, but don't yeah. expect a prosecution. Boy, let me just jump in on that because Trump also wanted to comply with the subpoena for documents at Mar-a-Lago, but wanted to do it on his terms. It's a no. <laughs> it's a no. You know, and I said that to the man's face when I sat with him in September. And I would say the same to Hunter Biden if he were sitting across from me now. It's a no. You don't get to determine the terms on which you comply with the subpoena. You get one and you show up. Most normal people are afraid when they get a subpoena because there is a lot of power behind one of those things. So it's, you know, on your first point, Dave, there's no question he violated the law in not complying. He doesn't get to say, no, it has to be in front of the public as opposed to behind closed doors where they get a real opportunity to cross-examine him as in a real deposition versus the, the theater we watch when it's in front of Congress with the five minutes Dem, five minute Republican thing. Yeah, no, look, Megan, if you want to do a strict application of the law, then Hunter Biden violated the subpoena and could be prosecuted for it, just like Dan Scavino, Mark Meadows, and Jim Jordan and other members of Congress. But since DOJ hasn't prosecuted those, they can't just go ahead and prosecute Hunter Biden for the same thing these other guys. Uh, All right. So we'll, before did, I give it so. back to Mike, then before I give it back to Mike, Dave, so what's the difference between Dan Scavino and Mark Meadows versus Peter Navarro and Steve Bannon on the other side, who who have been prosecuted for contempt of Congress for not right. uh, complying? Well, I think the difference is is that whether you're Jim Jordan with speech speech or debate clause congressional immunity, or you're a presidential advisor with executive privilege, it's not the same as a private citizen like Hunter Biden, right? And so they raise- No, 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 no. wait, 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 wait. I just don't want to confuse things. I'll give, I'll give everybody a chance to say what they want to say, but because let me just stick with Dave for one second, because Dave, you're saying DOJ didn't go after this other trio, Meadows, Scavino, and whoever the third was, I can't remember. And Jordan. yet, okay, and, and yet- they did go after Bannon and Navarro, as Mike accurately points out, for defying right. their subpoenas. So it, before I give it back to Mike, this one's for you, Dave, what's the distinction between those? You know, they, they do it all based on the individual's facts and circumstances. So I, I don't know why they didn't prosecute Scavino, uh, Meadows. I guess Jordan wasn't prosecuted for the reasons why Mike said, because he's a member of Congress. But I think what DOJ will do here is to say, hey, um, Hunter Biden did show up. 
he was ready to testify. And because of that, even though That's, that doesn't, he was going, he said only in front, I won't do a closed door deposition. It's not up to him. But because prosecutors at DOJ have proven that they will only prosecute these cases on slam dunk cases like they had against Bannon and Navarro and not against Scavino and Meadows, they're not going to prosecute this one, even though I admit as a prosecutor, you don't get to te- to decide the terms of your appearance. I agree with no. you on that, but don't expect but, but DOJ Mike, to prosecute this. I don't. OK, as I recall, the Meadows thing, I don't remember the ban in circumstance, but I know for, for a fact Meadows was trying to cooperate with Congress. He didn't give them everything they wanted, but he he was cooperating. It just not to the extent they wanted that. That to me seems that's, like a distinguishable case from Hunter Biden, Mike, who just gave me an Italian uh, gesture and said, if you don't do it my way, I don't show up. Yeah, I mean, remember that Mark Meadows was the White House chief of staff, the top aide to the president of the United States. And you had Congress seeking testimony about his conversations with the president of the United States, which is at the heart of executive privilege. Right. So you have clear constitutional issues with the separation of powers. We've had executive privilege going back 200 and 50 years to George Washington, where presidents can get candid advice from their advisors without being hauled in before Congress to testify about what they said to the president, because that has a chilling effect and the president won't be able to get that candid advice. What did Hunter Biden do? Was he talking to his father about his art sales? Was he talking to his father about his hookers and blow? Was he talking to his father about his corrupt Chinese and Russian and Ukrainian foreign dealings? Uh, what was what was Hunter's advice he was giving to his father why he can't testify before Congress? Uh, what I Megan, mean, he doesn't even go ahead, Dave. Yeah, just be, I think you made my point when you said that Meadows did cooperate in the way he wanted to, like he gave Congress some things, but didn't give Congress exactly what it wanted. Well, Hunter Biden is showing up and saying, I will comply. I will testify. But it has to be in the open because I don't trust you guys to report what happens behind closed doors for a prosecutor. Not ideal. But that is why I don't think DOJ is going to prosecute him, because it's similar to the Mark Meadows situation. I think it has more to do with the fact that his last name is Biden. I think that's obvious. I think this DOJ has been extremely reluctant to go after Hunter for several years now because his last name is Biden, as alleged and then later confirmed by those whistleblowers in their testimony. This guy gets away with murder. He gets away with murder. That's why he had, to use Nancy Mace's term, the balls to walk in there and middle finger it to the entire Congress. I won't sit, I won't give you testimony unless you do it the way I want you to do it, where we all know it's utterly meaningless. How many of those stupid congressional hearings have we heard where they get nothing done because it's limited to five minute increments? You guys are both lawyers. You know, nobody can ever get anything done that way unless they actually try to coordinate, which everybody's too dumb to do in Congress. So it's just, the whole thing is just a middle finger and he knew he could get away with it. And so far he's getting away with it. Big news from Bonner Wines. This is only for true adventure seekers who are looking for more in their wine drinking experience than your grocery store big box wines. The Bonner Private Wine Partnership is releasing a wine so rare, it sells out practically every time it's been available. They invite you to come on an extraordinary journey to a remote vineyard where a never before imported gem has wine enthusiasts everywhere raving. Picture this, altitudes of up to 9,000 feet Grapes defy nature's harshest challenges up there, thriving somehow in poor soil, enduring extreme UV rays, facing thin atmosphere and volatile temperature swings. The result, this one of a kind, extreme altitude Malbec. Now I have arranged special access for my listeners to get a bottle of this rare wine. Here's how. Visit Bonner, B-O-N-N-E-R, privatewines.com slash MK and become a member of the Bonner Private Wine Partnership. But act fast, you don't want to miss your chance. Visit bonnerprivatewines.com slash MK now for wine at 50% off plus free shipping. Bonnerprivatewines.com slash MK today to get your wine delivered directly to your doorstep. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.